Why did we think that one was a problem? That one was not a problem. Okay, so not only did I forget to pull it over, but it wasn't working anyway. Hello, hello, and welcome to Late Night Friday. I'm Nick, and this is a show about snakes. It is tonight. Um, all right, listen, here's the garbage. When I was a lad, oh, you can't hear this wonderful, wonderful, what I got going on over here. Uh, that would be this one. There we go. So when I was a kid, uh, I got a Game Boy for Christmas. It's one of the earliest Christmas gifts I can remember. Um, and I got a handful of games with it. I didn't get good games for a little while. Um... I had Top Gun for Game Boy. That's, you know, you remember the NES Classic Top Gun? Imagine it on a smaller screen. I had the Adams Family Game Boy game. And I had Sneaky Snakes. Uh, And here's the thing. I don't think Sneaky Snakes is a good game. Uh, But I've had a run lately of thinking like, well... You know, I think there's a lot of games that when I played them as a young kid, I probably thought they weren't very good because I didn't understand what was going on. Because I would read, like, you know, the game manuals as a way to, like, get more out of my game. But I never really made connections between, like, what the book said and what you're supposed to do in the game. I just, I don't gather information well through the written word. Even today, I have I have trouble with articles. It, it takes a lot of extra effort to read in such a way to get information. But basically, it's, it's caused this renaissance where what if these games weren't bad? I just was dumb and didn't understand them. And I thought, you know what? Let's revisit some of these. And for some reason, Sneaky Snakes is one of the first among them. Um, There is a second part to this snake gag that we'll get to later. Uh, But it starts with Sneaky Snakes. And about how this dude looks horrifying. I think that's a power-up that makes my tongue longer. And we have to eat those, and now we have a longer bit. Oh, no, that one's a warp. Okay. That probably lets me jump higher. That's going to add time. No, that one's a warp back. Okay. By the way, these warps are one time only, so just wasted that. See, some of these are different colors, and I don't know why. And then there's this machine. So you don't actually have to, like, look around for any of these things. There's just a machine. Generating weird fish? Except it also spits out bombs there there's a noise so now we're blinky and what that means is we finally have enough segments to open the exit also you get a tele bonus so this game had like was intended for like system link multiplayer how am i supposed to get that oh Okay, okay. I just... What part of this makes sense? Okay, uh... Uh... I gotta mash on it to... 
It's a release. It's a helium tank, I guess. All right, there. What is it when Nintendo games of a certain era and inflating protagonists? Oh, see, this one isn't fishes; it's balloons. I, I feel like this is where I always got stuck because I was just looking for more of those fishes from the first stage, but no, it's different. Okay, so the light ones are 200. Okay, now we're big enough, but... I assume if I keep growing, I'll get bonus points for being a bigger snake. Or am I growing? I don't know if I'm growing anymore. Ugh. Shoot. Oh no, now I'm- now I'm It's more segments. But, okay, we are over here, so let's just... I got the little whirly gig on my head. Give me... Give me the points. There. There are very few original Game Boy games that I think were good. What was that nonsense? Oh, now I'm just ahead. I don't even have the one snake. S seg segment? Would you stop that? I'm holding down the B button like it's going to make me run. Explicit cave drips. I see again, because, like, in the other stages, they would start as these orbs, but then they would turn into something. Fish and balloons, which have the same mechanical feature, you know, like fish and balloons are the same. Brothers from another mother's. Um. You know, I have no idea. It's when you eat orbs, you get more snake. So, okay, so here's the thing, right? This game was built for Game Boy System Link play. And, like... So, was it intended for the... Oh, that's not good. Was this intended to be a simultaneous two-player game? Oh, okay. Ugh. 
Wait, what are they? Okay, now they're just orbs with wings. I love a game where you don't get to see basically anything on the screen. It's like so so here's the thing, right? I think it wasn't anything like technical that made portable games start getting good. It was instead just like a realization of like, oh, we need to take into account like what available screen space means like when you look at um Ma Ma mario land one right you got this mario who's kind of like eight pixels in total and it's weird like it kind of It's so much... Okay. God. Alright, hang on. So, like... I didn't... Nope, that one was a bomb again! Mario World 1 tried... Sorry, Mario Land 1 tried to do it by being like, okay, we're gonna have... We have a super tiny screen, so we're gonna have a super tiny... Don't you dare! Okay, no, we still have the segments. Let's let's get out of here. Are you kidding me? Play on? Oh, I said yes. Okay, good. Infinite continues, so we don't have to stop. There, that one seems real. Oh. Whoa. I didn't know I could lick them to make them explode. But the problem with Mario Land 1 is that there's like a sense of pixel resolution where it's like when a thing is only like three pixels wide, then you just have like the smallest um, margin of error possible, right? You just, there's very little you can do about it. And then six golden coins was like, okay, we're going to... We're going to address some of these problems. And the way they did it is they actually made everything like super huge, but at the same time, like spaced way differently than, than a, a Mario that you would play on. These are the worst. These are the worst. Give me any of those, please. Oh my god, games is bad. Video games at the time were a mistake that we've only recently recovered from. <sighs> Me, get over here. Are they trying to dodge? Do need time as well. Also, there's like a lot going on with this stage, I think. Kind of. But yeah, you gotta account for like, okay, we can't be as big as like sprites on screens because our screen is just literally smaller and we need to. If we try to convey, you know, the same information, same size, whatever, it's just. You know, we're, we're using up too much real estate. But at the same time, you need to, to be big enough where you can still, like, interpret what's going on on the screen. Oh, God. It's a snake! It kind of egg-shaped, and I, I don't know what this sucker's hitbox is. But I keep missing it. 
I hope this game ends. I hope at some point it turns out there's only like eight levels and I just run out of them. I hope I just run out of levels. There. Oh, get, get. That one? There. Mm. And the snake and bouncy. Okay, just get out of here. Oh, holy cow. This, Jesus. Okay, so first of all, this is an underwater level, so we can fl fly. It also means that we can't... Oh, I hit a button. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, I guess not. Don't want to get lifted up by this. How do I get up there? Okay, well, now we're back to fish at least. Known snake long enough fish. Except some fish are evil. <laughs> what am I supposed to do about that? Yeah, sure, let's play on. Wait, there's the... Uh, <laughs> I'm just... I'm just struggling also. Okay. This... Does this stage not have the... the like, weigh-in station then? If it only has a gate? Or am I just not seeing it? Come on, my guy. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> See, like, there's, there's, okay. You love, love to, to find the positives. There is something here in the, like, nope. There's something here in the, how am I supposed to get away from this guy? Do I just, do I need to lick him? Do, or, okay, I can scroll him off screen, good. There's something here in, like, the, the challenge of, lining up and and just getting a snagging your, your targets right what is that about i didn't know there was like a spelunky time limit ghost element except it was just an axe wait did my timer now i didn't even notice okay still underwater For a second, I thought the level might have just started over. It was just like, we didn't expect anybody to get this far. If you're still playing, uh, here. Alright, I do love the way that the snake just explodes. Like, the, the falling off the screen. I don't know about the way he yells. It's just horrifying? I remember being horrified by that as a kid. What are these? They got little kicky legs. But yeah, like, these little things are out here. So far, each level, they've moved with, like, a different, unique pattern. And this idea of, like, yeah, no, you have to, like, hunt them down. You have to figure them out is an interesting, like, dexterity challenge. But also, these levels are filled with so much that it's, like... There is so much stuff to like. 
it's like a okay I, I i talk about it a lot but like you know two point swings it's like if, if it was just struggle 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 that'd be that'd be kind of funny right you could have a laugh with your friends it's like a, a it's like it's like a lot of like you know couch party games like a no more glurp like a or sorry drink more glurp no more heroes hmm um a glurp a heave ho a fling to the finish you know kind of the the physically based it's what the whoa that's gonna go bad for me at some point here you know i always thought that was like an oyster that might have been a toilet lid Um, let's just scroll it off to... That didn't reset it. And, and, and there would be something to that if that's, like, what this game was. Are they, like, hornets? But, like, the, the challenge in those is always the, the like, just accomplishing your goal, right? It's like, hey, just doing the thing is, is hard enough. You're going to struggle with that. And at some point, it's like, hey, getting any amount is, is an accomplishment. And it might end up being, like, a, a score of, like, you know, no nobody scores a whole number. But it's just a question of, all right, who... Who got the biggest fraction of, of a point, you know? Um, the thing that those games often leave out, because they know that the, like, inherent chances of success are so low, is they don't put in stuff that just kills your run all over the place, you know? But that seems to be what this game has decided it loves to do. Like, oh, yeah, no, you wanna... You're trying to do this whole snake eating the whatever thing? Cool, cool, cool. But what if also deadly spikes everywhere? What if also... What if you wanna fall in lava? What if... You know, this thing just pushes you until you die? don't know where I'm trying to get to. Leap of faith. Oh. Please, please lift me. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Going where? I don't know. Here we go. Pure luck. No, no map, no mini map, not even arrow pointing towards the exit once you're big enough. Love to give no information. That's a... That was a stapler. Okay. Like an Octodad, even, right? Like, this is Sneaky Snakes. If that was implying that you're a snake who had to, like, hide that you're a snake, or it was, like, some sort of snake stealth game. And that got into to lots, to lots of situations where it's like, okay, well, here's something that is pretty mundane, but you're a snake, so... Good freaking luck. That's a blade! Whoa! What is up with that cave blade? Cave's got a knife. Right here? Good. Uh, kinda want stuff. Mm. 
Yeah, just just stab me. I don't care anymore. Oh no, now you have to do the hard thing. That kind of helps. Here we go. Okay. Oh, they're gonna be bouncy, though. That's fine. That just leaves them up here. It's okay. I'll make this work. <clears throat> better keep spawning. These better not, like, run out at some point. Dark Souls of physics-based whatever games. Struggle to do this thing. Also, here's other things pretty much unrelated that will kill you in one hit. Just strewn about. Do ballet! Also, we've put Lego bricks all over the floor. Eh, forget it. What? No. No. Stop inflate the snake. You know, snake inflation is getting out of hand. Well, you know, used to be you could go to the shopping mall and come up one one garden snake and you could get everything you need to last your family a whole week now you got to be bringing in like two king cobras just to go three days you know thank you this has been my snake inflation joke please follow and subscribe for more of this content what oh god ugh Okay, well, I, I like, I appreciate this mix now of a uh, under and over wardrobe section. Oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on! I'm gonna get you, sucker! <laughs> Thank you for the follow! I see it, I see the follow happen! Good, it worked! That's how you get Tsuchinoko! Snake what a Sushinoko is like a, a a naturally occurring um balloon animal. Cause that you get it's it's inflated in the middle and you get to twist the ends and I'm gonna run out of freaking time on this map. Gimme. Gimme. Do it. Okay. Oh, that took off more than one, didn't it? Oh, okay, I've had enough of you. Uh, well, we have infinite continue, so I really don't care about lives. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to get through. I'm gonna have to get through all of that. Oh god. Well. Okay, we can just. Wow! It took like five hits! Come on, come on, come on, come on! We can do this! And now an axe is about to show up! You think I care? You think I'm scared of an axe? The axe made me explode. If I... If I was a Golden Axe character, I would simply be called Axe Exploder. Come on, come on. Come on to your game now. They are reacting to me. They have to be reacting to me. 
girl. One, no, two, three, four, five. Try again. I've got no time left. more time than pride. Listen. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Okay. Ugh. It also has less of a wind-up when it's putting out the killer fish. The devil fish. Are you kidding me? Yes, and the axe. I'm aware. I can do this. Because now there's no... That stupid fish. We can... <sighs> nope. I lost one. This snake doesn't get stupid long. And I think that's really a mistake on the part of the designers. Oh, come on! In terms of, okay, I'll also give it this. In terms of, you need to give your kid something to keep him busy. And you only want to have to get him one thing. This is how you do it back in the day. It's like, no, 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 just, you'll, you'll get it eventually, young one. Younglings, nope. This, this is what killed all the younglings. You thought it was Anakin, no. What? As opposed to a frat boy who killed all the yinglings. That's different. That's the same thing. I'm being told by my producer that's the same thing. Anakin was... Uh, oh! We don't have infinite continues! Damn it, we don't have infinite continues. I don't have like a, a I don't have like a funeral dirge sound effect to play in the event of we don't have any more continues. Um I don't want to play any more sneaky snakes. Here's the thing, I don't want to play any more sneaky snakes. Um That's okay. Like I said, this was only part 1 of the bit. <laughs> That was part one of the bit. Let me tell you about part two of the bit. Part two of the bit is... It only came to my attention relatively recently that Sneaky Snakes is essentially a sequel to an NES game. And that NES game...
is called Snake Rattle and Roll? Um, oh, it's a rare game. So this is an NES game that I know nothing about. So, like I was saying, my history is... I knew Sneaky Snakes, and I knew it sucked. I didn't know there was anything else to it. Snake. Rattle and Roll. Wait. So Sneaky Snakes is Attila and... No, I gotta look up. Who Who is the other snake? Because if we're playing as... It says Attila bonus. Attila has to be the name of the snake, right? Oh, gosh. How do I search for things online? Oh, God. Oh, God, I'm failing. Stick with me. I have to know. I have to know. Sneaky snakes names. Uh, check out our funny snake names below. William Shakespeare. Sorry. William Snakespeare. David Hisselhoff. Snake Gillenhall. Hissy Elliot. Slithers. Serverus Snake. Well, that. Mm, Kath Hiss Evergreen. Hissy Pants. No. Okay. Well, Sneaky Snakes. Game Boy names. Thank you. Genghis and Attila. Yes, okay. <sighs> Twin Serpents. Oh, and they're rescuing their friend Sonya Snake from the oft-mentioned Nasty Nibbler. Bad game. Bad game. Wow, the, the background music gave up on me. Okay, alright. Let's play Snake Ride on Roll. This is different. This is not different. This is not different at all! Oh my god! Oh my god! Are those like literally checker pieces that I'm fighting against? Oh my god, is that what that generator thing was supposed to be all this time? Oh, it has never read like that to me! Oh my god. Wow, and actually like the 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 ball dynamics over here, they're not going at uh like right angles. They're just This is oh my god. This is wild. This is the Sonic 3D Blast of Sneaky Snakes. Well, that's a... F what the... Well, I can farm points, apparently. Whoa! I do love the way that those things explode. And you can play this two player, huh? All right. Well, go goodbye. I, I want that. I'm not going to be able to reset, am I? Those are deadly spikes. As opposed to... Uh, friendly spikes? Can we still jump on top? Yes. Well, uh, my guy! Eh, nope, gone. I'm so glad it's not instant death when you fall off. It is just... Like... Phew! 
feels like much more of like some sort of conceptual death. <laughs> oh god, it's the ones that are worth more move faster to make them harder to get. I want him. Got him. I... <laughs> yeah, it's a toilet lid. I'm... I'm kind of aghast right now. Like, I'm not ready... to say this is a good game. I feel like I'm ready to say... I understand... where Sneaky Snakes came from. But, like, like now it's like, oh yeah, no, they were, they were absolutely trying to, um, port this into just like a, a kind of stock standard 2D platformer. And they, they, they did. And in doing so, l lost the things that made it interesting? Yeah, it's okay. Brilliant. Didn't, didn't, did not feel like it. Like, it's a isometric 3D kind of thing, like... I, I feel like these... Oh, yeah, there it is. God, they really just... This is such a weird idea! Because they, 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 they did it. They set out to be like, we're going to take this game and turn it into... I, I wonder why they went for like a, a standard platformer instead of this isometric 3D thing. Uh, that reversed my controls. That doesn't have me feeling great. Okay, those are blades. Alright, I remember the blades. Oh! These little... They, they, they do, they got like little sneakers. Ah! Oh! Marble Madness was on the NES, right? Oh, here we go. Okay. Oh, you get bonus points for the stuff that's on the screen at the time. Come on, come on, you. Oh! Oh, he's so fast. The little guy's so fast. He's just a little guy. He's got his Jordans on. <laughs> Shit, man. 
Why does that toilet seat gotta do me dirty like that? This game is making me say weird things. I, w I would say weird things on my own. That That is fair, though. Oh! Oh, and this shit's hard. Wow, even the... Oh, God. I gotta... So even the, like... Continue structure is was spot on recreated. Oh, little guys, look at him go! Oh my goodness! You gotta be big enough now, right? Yeah, when it does the the sort of blinky on the um on your final segment. I feel like that's when you're for sure ready. All right, you and me, foot. Oh. Oh. What the hell is this game? Also, is that the other level over there? Uh-huh. Sure. I already opened the door, right? Oh, I gotta really... But you can't... Am I... I'm missing something, right? Like, like, there is... Also, this is just hard as shit. Like, jeez, Louise. He squunched me good. Don't like that noise. How am I supposed to get up there? Can I? Okay, fine. At this point, I'll take it. At this point, I'll take it. Snake, colon, rattle, and roll. Also, like, a little bit of keeper in here? I, I don't know what that does. I wonder if that's just, like, a point bonus if you... What? What? That little flat boy. <laughs> the regular old flat Stanley. That was the one-up that turned into a bomb. All your favorites are here. Oh, bye. So are you saying I'm gonna have to... get these guys... in the air? Maybe? Or at least, like, the moment they land. I can just mash on it like this. That seems to be working pretty well. Yes, do it! Oh, is it actually smart enough to not... to angle it if you're... like, to angle it away from where you are?
Yeah, ah, toilet. Good, good, get dunked. Oh, hey, we're big enough. Oh, no. God. So the snake can move eight ways, but it does the thing where left goes northwest. Well, we got to try this again. Yeah. Yeah. I can do I can do better than this. I am interested in kind of so see like how do you get up there? There are mechanics at play. Clearly there are mechanics at play that I just do not yet understand. Okay, these just kind of roll around. We can, we can, we can work with this. Ah. Okay, we're ready. Let's go. And the foot. Shredder leading them. And okay. I don't care, it's enough. I also didn't play a lot of, like, Toe Jam and Earl. But a part of me says it's got Toe Jam and Earl vibes in a way of, like... What we have here is, like, especially for the time, like, having a 3D world like this is sort of a, um... Like that is kind of the novelty of just like, hey, no, we have we have built this virtual world in this in this perspective. And it's just I don't remember what my point was. Oh, and it, it's kind of like about exploring it, like, hey, here, here's something you probably have not seen a lot of. A, a, a 3D environment, isometric, or, or what have you. There. We're blinking. I think we're ready. Yep. There's a foot. Oh, oh. here get on top of this I can okay a little a little bit of calm goes a long way oh you can fall off the backside rude but yeah I actually okay but so but so here's a here's the thing about it right um the way they turned it into a platformer, and again, the sort of like scale that they had to work at on the Game Boy screen, at, at the resolution that they, they, you know, they had to work at and that they chose. So I'm gonna say there was choosing involved. Um, someone made a decision. How dare they? Um, oh, if you leap up there, you'd be able to. Can I pick that up with my tongue? Yeah, all right. I need to stop going for those. I don't think there's a good way to. Unless you got to like really build up momentum before going for them, that could have something to do with it. Um But like this feels like a world that you can explore. Because we're in one place, we're we're getting this top-down view and honestly it, you get a decent, like, whoa, why did I pick that up again? Because I forgot about it. That's why. You, you get a pretty decent, like, view of more of the world. 
d- just on screen. Like you look at the, the size of the character compared to the size of the rest of the world compared to the mm, world he's inhabiting. And it, it's just like you can kind of see what is across a gap, what is what is down here, what is up on a cliff, right? As opposed to playing that Game Boy game where it's like, well, you see what's on screen and you have no idea about what's around you. Um, you kind of just have to go there and get killed by whatever's there immediately to learn. Um, these are toilet lids. I wonder if there's supposed to be some kind of like junkyard. Okay, so I just want to land over here and come back. Okay, I'll take it. And we're going to do it this way. Once he leaves. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Now we're cruising. Also, these snakes... These snake sprites, at this angle, they read a bit more like snakes and not weird, frightening base eggs. You know, like the clowns have. I feel like clown eggs have been a, a, a popular topic lately, and that's probably bad. I, I, I don't know what the, the like, sort of clandestine nature of clown eggs is, but I know I don't like talking about them. Okay, what do we got here? This, I want to get rid of you, because I'm going to be over here, I'm going to be busy. Also, okay, weirdly enough, the difference between this and the last one is also making me think of um, Risk of Rain versus Risk of Rain 2. All right, stick with me for a hot second here. Because cause I haven't played Risk of Rain 2 yet, but I think I'm going to like it more than I enjoy Risk of Rain 1, and... A large portion of that is because of the, the sort of like 3D nature. It is it is now taking part in a 3D space, not a. Oh, these platforming sections are actually kind of fun because it, it reminds me of like climbing up a. Oh no! Like a Minecraft level. There's not going to be another space to. build from, huh? I'm just kind of... Unless these? Oh. This game's hard. My problem with Risk of Rain 1 is maybe I was just, like, bad at it, but I always had this feeling of, like, oh, at, at some point, like, your ability... E- e- at some point, that game did have to come down to, like, stat gates, in a way. Um, okay, you can go straight across. Oh, goodbye. Because at some point, it's like, there is an enemy, it's going to be too big or too something, and you're not going to be able to get around it. Um... And you're just going to have to, like, oh, do you have enough, you know, regen or armor or whatever stat you've built into in order to deal with it? Um, in a way that... These jumps are so tense. Oh, my God. Are you 
kidding me? <laughs> oh my god, incredible dick move. Double! Wait. Those, those are colored. Can I eat those? Wait, I was big enough? Wait, put me up there. Yes, okay. Oh, God. No, I can, I can do this, apparently. Okay. Yeah, let's see a new level. What was I talking about? When you have a, a th this is isometric 3D, but this is a 3D game. And a thing about 3D is when it comes to dodging enemies um, in 3D, you have, you know, an extra plane on which to do that. Um, wow. I'm gonna give this one more run, and then I wish I had a third snake game to round out the night, but maybe it's just a short one tonight, because I've played the game I remembered, I'm learning about the game I never knew, that's, I've accomplished it. But like, in 3D you can dodge. You, you, there is literally more space for you to dodge, because there's a whole nother axis. Um, oh my gosh. Yeah, now, now I'm just on tilt. Um, and I think that's kind of what's happening here too, right? Um, like it's it's funny. I've also been watching a, a bunch of Elden Ring because that's a game I will likely never play um, in any long-term fashion. Uh, But, like, instant kill hazards. The more sort of room you have to work around them, I think the more fair they seem. So, again, when you... You know, even just earlier, when, when that... When that death fish was coming out of the thing and just immediately stomping on me and making me lose whatever work I just accomplished, that felt like garbage. Um, and and part of that was because, like, yeah, no, it's you're going to be right here. There's only this one direction for it to be in. There's only one direction for you to be in because there's only one direction for the fish to go, really. And it just there was kind of like, no, yeah, that all of this stuff occurs basically right here in this small zone, right? Um, and again, because of, of like, resolution, because of, of just screen real estate, because of, like, size ratios, what have you, it was just like, yep, nope, this is where everything occurs, and also it's where everything occurs because that's just where the screen is. That's all of that there is on the screen. <laughs> Um, or however you would say that in a sensical way. Um, this is so tense. I'm, I'm tensing up right now playing this game. I'm, don't get me wrong, I'm kind of into it. But that's why I keep going quiet. But here is just like, yeah, no, I can be over here, and the hazard can be over there, and the thing spawning can be over there, and there's literally just like more space for these things to a occur in, b for me to have like a chance to to observe, and like I have different directions that I could be going in in order to work around and avoid and and approach. 
And I want to say it's on this level particularly, but, you know, near the end, it was like when I was, um, when I was dealing with that, with that weird foot between me and the exit, and I was just like, I just can't get past them because there's the foot and there's the, the waterfall, and I just, I just can't make it happen. And then literally, you know, my answer was just like, all right, yeah, don't, don't go that way. There's, come at it from a whole different angle. I don't want that this time. And that's something that you can't really get without building a game which, you know, e even if it is sort of emulated 3D by, by being, you know, sprite-based isometric like this, um, you add 3D, you're literally adding more space, and that can make things more fair, that can make things just more interesting in ways, I guess. Um, like, there is... I don't know if there's anything interesting about this game in, like, modern times. I'm I'm playing it kind of to... <laughs> to contextualize and make my own younger self less upset about that bad, bad game I had. Um, but it's like, I don't know if I would be like, hey, go back and play Snake Rattle and Roll sometime. It's red. Like, eh, I don't know. It was doing something interesting at the time. Maybe. I, I, I wasn't too aware of things at the time, and I haven't studied, I don't know. Um, but between these two games, oh yeah, this is the better one. Even though they actually did like a, a an absolutely like, it, it's, it's weird. It, they did a good port job that led to a bad game, you know? Again, I wonder if I wonder if, if there was like a design choice that made them go platformer instead of this isometric angle. Aside from just like hardware limitations, you know? The, the Game Boy was was a, a a less competent system, you know? I, I don't think that's... Oh my god, stupid toilet seats. I, I, I don't I don't think that that's... an untrue thing to say. I, I don't think that that's... Well, whatever. But, um... But yeah, it's kind of crazy to me that, like... Every element is here. The time I should let the timer run out and see if a big axe comes and makes me explode. I bet that's in here. But like the 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 growing, the way that the dots are different every stage, the the way that. The, 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 like, sewer lids or whatever. Which I guess they do look more like trash can lids here. But why would a trash can lid be straight on the ground? You know, the, the questions of our time. Philosophers have yearned for an answer. For eons. Yeah, let's go. Ugh! This is the one, right? So I need to... Wait, if I explode there, I don't need that. Okay, I have that anyway. Okay, okay. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. And now I want to jump a little down here. But I want to look out for blades. There are blades around here. There's foot around here! This is Blade. Okay, Overblade. What's this do? Uh, go here, I'm gonna go here. You're a Blade. You're a Blade. 
This we can just jump straight across. I'm gonna hit that. That's a warp. Let's get rid of the foot. Got him. See? Oh, no, no! This is a game I feel like I'm getting better at. No, I just lost it. Why did that one lose it for me? Oh, God. Okay, so now I need to get back. Let's go back this way. Oh, that would be useful. That doesn't save you from that. Uh... Alright, just gotta get it in one. That's all there is to it. I just gotta get it in one. there yet we're there yet okay just got to get it in one just got to get it in one just got to get it in one Came up short. I'm so scared of overshooting that because it's the edge. Oh, okay. I'm over here. Oh, am I gonna have to go back? Are we full? We're still full. No, that made me lose. To stop it! Stop it! Oh. <laughs> Right, and then the other whole part of this bit was yesterday we watched snakes on a plane, so that's what put me in a snake mood. That's... I, did, I forgot to say that at the top. That was part of the bit, though. Listen, it's it's been a long day. It's been a long couple of days. Okay. No, come on. We're, we're getting so good at this. Let's Let's just get it. Do snakes like bread? What do, what do snakes like? Okay. Do I check this manhole? No. Right! And then two, but then go forward. That one homed! Oh my god, it killed me, and it took them all away. And then it lets you go anyway. Oh my god. <gasps> that ended it. That ended it, though. Oh no! Oh my god. How many continues did they give me? That was not terrific. That was not terrific. Game, let's not kill ourselves. Okay, so it's not how many you go through the door with, it's how many you ate, because I had to eat a lot. I had to eat a lot. I've used that excuse before. It's a lot of points. Right, and now we got this going on. You are going to do this. You're just gonna leave that way. Great. Okay, okay, okay. You're over this grid. 
It doesn't move you. It doesn't move you? There. <laughs> All right. Even the, the, the like, double spit out, because everything has two legs or two wings or two whatever, like... I, th I think... Playing this game is giving me an appreciation for what the Game Boy game was doing. And it actually makes that game impressive instead of just terrible. Um, that being said, I think it... I, I wonder if this game would have felt just as impenetrable to me if I had encountered this one first. Um, or if there really is something about like, hey, by using fish for your opening level instead of just like the generic balls, if that's like... Like, like, that's a big thing about, like, Nintendo games, right? Is that they are good at having that, like, safe teaching segment and then you do variations on the theme. That one starts you right into this, like, very easy level, but it's very just like, hey, it's fish. You're going to have to figure out this fish thing. Or, like, why is it fish? It, why is it fish when it's not underwater? Like, it, it's... <sighs> why is it fish? Maybe it's me. I but I don't know. I don't know, never have. Now I can say I almost know, but I don't. All right, I just want to see. I'm just going to load it up. I'm going to let the timer run out. I take that back. I'm going to explore the shit out of this first level. I'm going to destroy everything. Because they are moving like checker pieces. They are moving extremely on grid. This is warp? No. Oh, it's just gone. How are we supposed to get up there? Can't jump on that directly. That's the warp down there. That's right, I remember now. So that means you're not warp. You're the foot. Okay. Can't destroy it. Can we scroll it off screen? Okay, we can, no, it, 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 it's extant, remains extant. Okay. If we can get up here. I don't get us more time. See, there's another one up there. Like, are we looking at a piece of a different level? Go over here. Go all the way out to these islands. Also, that is just like the Jaws theme. You're telling me there might be some way to get up there. Can I pause? I can hold. Pause button holds. See, I talk about this in Doom all the time. If if there's a thing there you can get, then you are telling the player there's a way to get here. Can I... Swim up waterfalls? 
there a way to get to like a higher waterfall? No, because we can we can get here. But this was time, not that. Can't really go to any of those. Like if if the case is like okay, if there's a a pick up there and they're not gonna let me pick it up, I think that's messed up. That's messed up to me. But the idea of hey, there are just like other scales around. There's just other stuff going on along the edges. I do love that. I do love that because it's just like, yeah, no, the level is not the only world. That makes it feel like a bigger world, you know? Can't jump in flowing water. You can flow in the pool water down here. Pool, pooled? Pooled. We... We warp. This is in a whole nother dimension. Okay. What the heck? Alright. I want to see a big axe. I want my main man, Axe Exploder, to come back. Make it his re-debut to the ring. Or we just die. Or do we just die? You just die. Okay, so... That's way less interesting. That's... I, ca I cannot believe this is going to end with me saying this. That's something the Game Boy version actually did better. Is giving you that little bit of like, hey, an extreme hazard threat pressure is here, but you can skill your way out of it. I wanted to see a big axe. Come and make me snake explode. <laughs> Can we just leave? Not really. Oh wow, even that isn't an insta-kill. Wow. This one is so much kinder. I won't say easier, but I'm gonna say kinder. I got a bad idea. And by bad idea, I mean an idea. Um Okay. I want to I want to take a look here. Show me. Bring forth unto me sneak uh snake rattle and roll speed run. Let's just take a look here. Sneak rattle and roll, speedrun.com. Sure, any percent. Five, uh, let's see here. Let's let's look at, I don't want to look at the top. I want to look at the first non, non-trophy. Six minutes, eight seconds. Eleven years ago. That I can look at. Oh, let's see here. So if I full screen this. And then I come over here, and let's take a look. I want to add, do we have a window capture? Not for this purpose. Add a window capture. I want to call this speed uh, browser app. Yeah, OK, that'll do it. And then let's just shrink that back down. Let's, let's watch this together. Because I'm going to, I would go off and watch it anyway, so let's just, let's just enjoy it together. Um, I want to put it about there, I want to put it about there, uh, I want to put it down here, because then the chat will be above it, in case anybody has any comments about this. Um,
All right, show me your show me your speed run, my guy. Six minutes, huh? Oh, do you somehow? What the hell? Oh, okay, if you just go, if you don't faff about. Oh, whoa, underwater sections. That's actually kind of rad. Oh, you can't you can't hear this noise yet. Hang on. Okay, so the big thing appears to be get the big warp. And then still just kind of mash on. I swear I can hear this guy, like, whispering to himself softly. Yeah, he's definitely talking. Oh, that's still a very good time for that. Wow. Because the thing I already had on that first split was way better than, way better than average, and I just got another three seconds on that. Cool ice zone. Yeah, for, for like randomly spawning the thing you need to proceed, that's That was fairly good. It just wasn't it could have been awesome. Makes it seem like not great for speed running. Extension right at the beginning, and that's what usually lets me get the ones that are off the edge. Oh god, having to get him while getting circled by a foot, that's... I love the look of these levels, I'll give them that, because they're like... Ice Patless...
Do you have to like go all the way back up now? No, you go this way. Cool. <laughs> like the the mix between like that that thing I was talking about before, the weird like struggle skill of, of actually like nailing these targets and, and chasing them down. Plus then this one has this this isometric platforming that is like I don't know if that kind of platforming has ever been good, but I enjoy it. What a mean exit! Wow! Also, only 10 stages, so I actually made it about halfway through the game, I guess? Just on my own, just trying? Alright, I don't feel so bad about that then. What is this alien stuff? New best by far. The new Wait. best stretch just saved me a shit ton of time. I got minus ten. I'm at minus ten now. Off my my last um my last one. <laughs> Snakes and spades. So at six oh seven, that's ten seconds faster than my best recorded run. My best recorded using the old route was six seventeen. So at six oh seven. Okay, I, I, I don't really want to hear you anymore. Like, good job, my guy. Snakes in space. <sighs> All right. Okay, looking at what's actually there, those seem like they might actually be fun challenges. I would maybe try playing, like, with a game shark for infinite lives. Um... Okay, but give me one more second, though, because while we're here, I need to look for Sneaky Snakes speedrun. There are two speed... Oh, my God. Okay, first of all, there's only two speedruns. The most recent one was one year ago. And it's almost 15 minutes long. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't think we'll watch all of this, but... Oh my god. Are we here? We're here. He's playing on the Game Boy Color. Look at that. Okay, 16, okay, so 16 levels. Oh, but, th okay, but with warps. Wait, did I make it more than halfway through that game too, just sitting here playing it tonight? I appreciate that on his, his little speedrun counter here, it's actually saying what the, like, this might be my last run of it without trying to run. what the goal object on each one is. Okay, now I kind of see it as like two like gramophone looking releasers. So I think I'm going to practice level 14 before next game because level 14 is uh, the worst. I hate it so much. What a bad game. I've, I've had so many good runs today and I've lost them all to level 14. But this is, this is like the. Uh... This is kind of just proving the thing, right? That community improves anything. I guess. Like if if you might be working on something and it might in itself be terrible, but if you have people to, to work on it with if, if you have people to, to just keep you company through all of it then yeah it's not bad okay he's he's talking about like some other game. and i do 40 percent more damage with one handed weapons Exercise 
post one arm really, really strong. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Okay. So there's level four and there's a warp out of level four. Okay. I wonder if there's more warps than just a two, but it's one of those things where like. Sorry, I'll just wait here till I heal, I guess. Um. I oh, look at that! You got a damage boost to warp. Interesting. Okay, and then I remember being here. Wow, that skips a lot of the game. That skips four levels. That skips a quarter of the game. Damn, actually, it looks all right on Game Boy Color. Oh, he's skipping all of those, too. Not taking hits there. Wow, not taking hits there. Couldn't be me. Couldn't be me. I would only use it out of battle anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I was struggling with those for some reason. Okay, and then, yeah, you, you have guaranteed ones under those vents. Yeah, yeah. That's it. That's it. And right, and then you need to infl you need to inflate for some reason. And you gotta mash it out. Okay. <gasps> Wait, this is the level I was. This is a level I ended on, isn't it? Is it? It is. Are you kidding me? Right there, there's a warp. Oh, I'm carrying too much to be able to run. Oh, cringe. Oh, I'm carrying way too many weapons. Probably, I'm not going to use that. You're, uh, um, you're, you're encumbered. <sighs> yeah, dude. I actually on the level that I was stuck on, that ended me. Wow. Okay. And all that in, in, in five minutes. Okay. Well, okay. He skipped a quarter of the game. Okay, I'm alright now. Right, that, that seems like intentional damage. There's something about when you, you go to lick, you keep some... You, you keep more momentum than you do normally? Or something? Oh, cool. That person's gonna come alive. That's that's actually a, a pretty fun pattern. Should be it. One more. I still can't tell if it's based on... If the, the colors you eat actually, like, fill you up at different rates. Oh, he's got... Oh. I sh Okay, so where does this next one take so much time? Cause, cause, yeah, because he's got 10 minutes left and 4 levels, 5 levels? No matter what happens, it so. could be the run. Yeah, I, I, but I mean, I've got level fourteen coming up, so I'm, if I get through level fourteen nicely, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna be nervous. But up until level fourteen, I'm fine because like, it's, it's see, okay, if that's a turn key like it was in NES, I don't know if that makes sense because I always assumed it was like a, a beanie cap propeller. Like this one is looking um, very. Oh, and take damage there in order to to frame boost on respawn, and you account for it right there anyway. Okay. Um, because it, I, I swear it makes your jumps a little more floaty, which would make sense if it was a, a beanie propeller. What the? Triple boost on the first one for level 13. Jeez, you just murder another snake and take its segments? Uh, and then triple reds, so... That's brutal. Triple blues again. 
Okay, so I guess blue or red does matter. It's not just points. Triple boost a third time. Okay. Um, that's gonna be very nice. Wow. Okay. You don't know me. Whew. That's what I thought. Okay, another um, massive goal. Uh, I'm forty-six seconds ahead, going for level fourteen. Oh. Oh I'm sorry, God. I just gotta watch this now. We're we're okay. we're in this now. No matter what happens, it's gonna be emotional today because level fourteen always goes bad. Stay calm. Yeah, yeah, I'm calm. Don't worry, I'm calm. Cool. It's just like the spiders, please, please. Okay, damage boost. I I, I mean I'm I'm pretty much guaranteed to lose some time, but for, I, at forty six seconds I'm I'm I have a good lead, so you go. I'm gonna try and keep some of it. Was that on purpose? Go for it. Ringy? This is, um, that might have just been a reset to... Sub pace. To what do you call it? Which is pretty huge. Oh, <laughs> I knew there was going to be a level where you have to really control this. This is ridiculous. Alright, spiders. Come on. Don't let me down, please. I need the nutritious spiders. Only the, only the blue ones. The blue ones are the most nutritious. Okay, come on. Please, spiders. Level up. Oh, oh so rude. I leveled up. Nice. But then I, I can also save time when I'm level 15, so even if I do lose the boost a lot of time, I can bring it back. And I have an itch on my nose. Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, spiders are actually going um, not badly, actually. Wow, okay. Get it, go for it. And then. Uh, oh, and there's a blade there. But okay, you, you can. Yeah, because once you open the door, that's all just free health. You can run to the armor. You don't need to run. Or extra hits, I guess. Right, Matthew, I did gold level 14. I am nervous right now. Oh, wow. Um, Matthew, it's looking really good. It's looking very, very good. Okay, don't mess it up. Gold level 14. Uh, Ban? Five golds in a row. Ah. Oh, why is it like this? Why is why is Sneaky Snakes turning into, like, a Gradius level? If I don't mess up these jumps. Listen, the game doesn't feel good on these jumps, regardless of what you might think by watching it. The game doesn't feel good. <clears throat> Ooh. Ooh. Longer tongue. Okay. Um, oh, jeez. Wonder why the spawners change. I'm a little nervous. Come on, come on. Okay. Nice. Oh, that one at the top right there is so mean. I, w I, so like, you know, we're watching a speed run. So you think, the thing you don't see is the, you know, thousand hours of getting good at just this part alone, never mind the rest. Um, I would maybe go nuts because, like, this on first blush seems so mean and, like, just, and not even necessarily unfair, but, like, mean. Uh, on. One minute, ten ahead. Oh, you know what? At least it's not a long game. Is this a boss fight? Oh my god, okay. 
Oh, it's that guy. Come on, come on, come on. Please, lost Neville. I swear, if the nasty nibbler fight goes badly, I am going to cry. Okay. <laughs> oh, you're not even collecting on this level. One minute ten ahead. How? Just going. This is a level wherein you just go. Um. Cool. <laughs> Is that okay? Oh my god, you have to get it across these platforms. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Got him. <sighs> oh god, and then you gotta pick one up. No. Ooh. Please don't do this to me now. The last, please, last level. It'll be fine. Oh, that was very close. No, 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 no. just get up there. No. <laughs> no. Oh, it fell, like all the way down. It went through the platforms. <clears throat> you know, I guess this is a rare game. By, by which I mean, you know, rare of the developer. Like, like 15 seconds there, maybe. Oh, look at everyone. Yeah, just... It's okay. I'm damage boost, we don't care. By a lot. Um, oh, maze section. Alright. Um, nasty nibbler fight. No, wait, he just oh. moved away. Come on, come back. What? Do you just have to hit him forever? I guess by 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 pinning him in the corner, he's staying in place, and you can get a lot of hits. It's not actually about the thing in the corner. What is he? He's just a. A spawner? Oh, and there was the axe. Yes, okay, I got, I got under 15 minutes. And there's Sonya. Oh my god. There you go. I got 1457. Huge improvement. Oh, she's playing. Oh my god. I, I, I was so nervous after level. Like, literally, level 9, 10, 12. Okay, well, there you go. There's how you actually beat both of those games. I don't need to hear him talking about that for a little more. Wait, there's like a. Like a s snakes at the end. Okay, good. What? I still can't forget. I got gold level fourteen. I I thought I was gonna choke it in level fourteen, but I'm. Wow. All right. That's. Now we know. I might never touch these games again. <laughs> um. Okay. That's 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 more than gonna do it. We played a game. We watched the game. Uh. And. That's enough. That's enough. I'm going to go ahead and say that's enough. Hey, everybody. Uh, thank you for hanging out with me for Snakes. Uh, weird one, short one. It's fine. It is what it is. It's Friday. Uh, I hope you have a good rest of your weekend. I'm going to do what I can. I got to I gotta do some stuff I don't want to, and it's making me put off everything in my life, and that's just something I have to deal with. Um, so I'll deal with that, and I will see you on... I think on Tuesday. I think I'm going to try to do a thing on Tuesday. I don't actually have a bigger plan than that yet. So I'll see you then. Alrighty. Take it easy, everybody.